Welcome to our world. I'm standing here on the historic Ross Field at Naval Station Great Lakes, the United States Navy's only boot camp and quarter deck of the Navy. The Morale Welfare and Recreation Department, known as MWR, provides a vast array of quality of life programs for the Great Lakes community. MWR operates nearly 1 million square feet of facilities and over 150 acres of recreational green space. Let's take a quick look at MWR facilities, programs, and services. One of the key strategies for the Great Lakes MWR team is to introduce recreational and leisure opportunities provided by Navy's MWR organization worldwide. At Recruit Training Command Boot Camp, the Captain's Cup Olympics becomes a great platform for MWR. Captain's Cup Olympics is a competitive event that is designed for the purpose of evaluating a recruit's ability to perform specific skills. Recruit divisions comprised of 80 to 100 recruits demonstrate their physical readiness and aptitude in shipboard drills, overall teamwork, and esprit de corps. The MWR team is on site each and every Saturday morning to support this important boot camp training event. With the help of a corporate partner, the MWR team has been providing recruits with ice cold Gatorade for many years. During this time, the MWR team has an opportunity to provide a glimpse of what MWR is all about and what the Navy's newest sailors will expect to see at their very first duty station. Approximately 40% of these recruits do their follow-up training after boot camp as an apprentice in surface warfare at Great Lakes, which allows MWR team members an additional 40 minutes with each sailor, explaining in detail the services and facilities provided for them. This time spent with each individual helps develop an understanding of the many MWR quality of life programs, not only here at Great Lakes, but throughout their career in the Navy. The War on Terrorism brought about new training commands to Naval Station Great Lakes, specifically the Navy Special Warfare Preparatory Units consisting of Navy Diver, Explosive Ordnance Disposal, or EOD, and Navy SEALs. To meet the new support requirements for the Navy's training mission, MWR realigned its resources and created flexibility and scheduling for these operational units. MWR's ability to adapt facilities, schedules, and even resources, including the sharing and coordination of building spaces, truly benefited this new training mission. One of MWR's indoor pools and existing fitness spaces allowed the EOD divers to train immediately without further investment in new specialized facilities. MWR was also able to realign resources, which allowed for a $1 million renovation project to the track and the addition of the synthetic turf to the football and soccer fields. This upgrade benefited the entire base community, as well as greatly supported those elite sailors who were chosen to participate in this specialized training. An organization can never be fluid enough when adapting to operational mission changes, especially with detailed long-range planning. The MWR planning process starts with the installation master plan, but really takes shape with the yearly region and installation business plans. From there, MWR strategies are developed to stay in alignment with the overall Navy goals. Using what we call whole goals, monthly monitoring and reporting, is a way to engage and keep the chain of command informed. To help MWR program managers and their staff stay focused on their goals, a weekly dashboard becomes the reporting tool that keeps everyone in the organization moving in the same direction. Thus, MWR's long-range planning and executions have resulted in organizational efficiencies, allowing for an aggressive $7 million recapitalization program over the past five years. Here at Great Lakes, MWR's dedicated focus on planning and goals has led to alignment with leadership's vision constant communication within the organization, but more importantly led to outstanding customer satisfaction. MWR prides itself in the recapitalization of its facilities. Two projects over the past few years have demonstrated creativity and the use of partnerships. 
Battling with the elements of a World War II Vintage Family and Youth Recreation Center, MWR leadership recommended and was involved in the negotiation for a private development of a combined facility that would, in the end, support the child and youth programs for eligible MWR customers. The new 16,000 square foot community center opened in 2009 using zero Navy funds in its construction. The reduction in square footage from the existing facility greatly reduced energy consumption and ultimately saves tens of thousands of dollars in utility costs annually. The bottom line, this brand new facility now truly meets the needs of Great Lakes military families. In another recent project, the MWRT maximized opportunities and the use of partnerships to restore the historic boathouse, the hub for the marina and outdoor recreation program. Originally built in 1903 and listed as a state historic site, this facility was scheduled for renovation to include exterior brickwork, internal design structure additions, and mechanical systems replacement. MWR partnered with the Naval Facilities Command to ensure that the current marina and outdoor equipment rental services operating within the boathouse were included in the renovation, along with the rest of the building updates. Using non-appropriated fund dollars, MWR coordinated with the interior design package, which resulted in a modern and highly efficient operation for its customers, not to mention a fresh new look. Great Lakes MWR is a leading advocate for stewardship throughout the base and community. Just one example can be found through their golf course. Environmentally sensitive areas were created to reduce the watering patterns and overall consumption. Working in unison with the Naval Station's environmental team, MWR achieved a 25% reduction in water usage over a three-year period, all without impacting the golfer's experience. These concerted and joint efforts contributed to Naval Station Great Lakes being recognized at the highest level within the Department of the Navy for environmental and energy conservation excellence. With the core population of the base being 18 to 24 year old single sailors, the use of technology is vital to this segment. Interactive websites, social media, and aggressive text program helps the department communicate with its customers. Not only through the distribution of electronic information, MWR through social media makes a point to actually engage with its customers, one-on-one, -on -one, listening and answering their questions, and then modifying and or developing new programs to meet their needs. The results? Better programs and greater participation. Active duty sailors are just one segment of MWR's customer base. In cooperation with a number of organizations, the department provides services for customers with special needs, including disabled veterans and family members who require special considerations. These individuals routinely participate in the Saturday morning adaptive sports programs, or may be seen on the golf course, receiving instruction and assistance. Providing services and easy facility access to all customers is an essential component of MWR programs. MWR leadership continues to partner with local organizations to assist in accomplishing the mission. The USO is a key partner in a number of MWR's annual events and their common purpose, supporting of the military, creates a great working relationship. Another long-standing partnership with the Lake Bluff Park District provides wonderful off-site aquatic facilities for Navy families. The partnership creates additional revenue for the Park District and a huge cost savings in operations and facilities for MWR. Continuous program evaluation is part of MWR's strategic plan and involves everyone. Program staff create detailed after-action reports, formal customer surveys, along with other means of soliciting customer feedback are used to understand the strengths and weaknesses of the programs and services. Constant and in-depth evaluation and self-assessment was a critical element when being considered for the Commander Navy Installation's four-star accreditation in 2011. The MWR Department at Great Lakes was one of only 13 naval base activities worldwide to receive this accreditation. The MWR team works diligently for sailors and family members stationed here at Naval Station Great Lakes. 
That total team effort has been noted by their peers within the national publications and through both national and international awards. MWR's annual 4th of July celebration, which draws nearly 55,000 people, has been recognized by the International Festival and Events Association, or IFEA, more than 15 times in the last three years. A tremendous achievement and a true tribute to the staff's dedication was being awarded one of the top three events in the world in 2011 by the IFEA. In addition, the team's 4th of July efforts were just recognized again in 2012 in a team award by the Chicago Federal Executive Board. MWR's mission continues, providing the best possible services and support to those who serve all of us. With more than 2.4 million customer visits to MWR facilities and programs, the Naval Station Great Lakes MWR team makes a point to exceed all of their customers' expectations. Whether it's family or youth recreation, sports and fitness activities, skill-based classes, trips and tours, self-directed recreation, entertainment, outdoor recreation, hospitality or special events, the MWR team is there, providing those services in a world-class fashion. Serving the sailor, their families, and the entire Great Lakes community is the world we live in.